Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Simon Kier card to review today. We're taking a look at a new player moments SBC. Six foot three, low high work rates, right footed, two star skills, three star weak foot. Base card stats for pace for the meta of the game does look low. He's going to be working with 85 for acceleration with a 94 for sprint speed, giving you some AC Milan links as well as uh, some Danish links too. I don't know if they still do Ericsson stuff in FIFA considering the whole situation with him, but uh, yeah, definitely an SBC that's definitely warranted for sure. Uh, I like that they made it, made it a player of moments SBC because of what he did IRL. Uh, full respect, full respect. Uh, leadership traits, in-game attributes. Again, pace is going to be low, but we will be experimenting with that in-game to see what that's going to be like. Here's the thing, guys, because it's always a very, very nice thing to have in this game, okay? It's nice that his reaction is at a 99, okay? Because here's the thing, right? If you give him a shadow chemistry style, you're going to make his defending near enough perfect, right? Because of, you know, heading accuracy, defensive awareness on a 98, whatever, right? But... It's the reactions with the composure, that together with defenders, it's just the way that, like, if you guys actually read up on reactions, it's how they react to situations around them. And, and you notice that the most when it comes to defenders trying to block certain opportunities, right? So he could be a defensive monster because of that boost in the card. Uh, base card stats for passing, he does have 82 short passing with 80 long passing. Um, so some pretty decent stuff there for a center back, not too bad. I will be experimenting with his dribbling because he is a six foot three player with low high work rates, right? So the low high work rates is something that you have to check out with this card. Uh, he also has a high and average body type. So I want to see how that also works with the way that the pace is set up as well at an 85, 94 for sprint speed. Uh, and then base card stats for physical on the card is going to be at a 93 for strength, 93 for aggression with 91 jumping. So he's definitely going to be very, very physical oriented for sure. Um, that's kind of like the hopes and dreams when it comes to using a card like this. And, you know, we're going to be testing out his transition speed because he does look like a little bit lower to the meta of the game, right? Because, you know, Delit, for instance, he has 88 to 92, but Delit has that hunchback body type. And you guys know that that's just absolutely nuts in this game, right? But... With Kier, the way that we're going to be using him in-game is going to be the 4 one 2 and 2 as we normally do. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be testing him out defensively. So uh, we'll, we'll get into the reviews and uh, oh, I just have to remember which one it is for this one because I have different tactics everywhere. Okay, so ultra attacking. Perfect. All right, let's go try him out. He has a really cool name, man. Simon Kier. That's sick. Take the ball. That wasn't a bad situation. Awareness was pretty decent there. I didn't mind his run too much there, you know? In the game, they call him Care, but I, I searched it on YouTube as Kier, so I don't know, man. Oh, look at Delit with that body type. Sheesh. We'll take that goal, boys. We'll take that. Big guy, big guy. I, I like his movement off the ball so far, guys. The off the ball stuff is pretty decent. Little L trigger shield. Pass it upwards. There we go. Sheesh, what a goal. Nice stuff. Oh, the pronouncer just called him Simon, Simon Kier. It's, it's got to be that. Hmm. That was a weird animation. It's like he was going for a header. Did you see that? I don't know what that was. Oh, Simon Kier is the, other, is the one that actually went inside the net there. You see that? Ooh, nice slide challenge. I'll take that. Nice. That was like really qu uh, quick quack. <laughs> quick transition speed. I'm a duck. This track back was pretty decent from the corner kick. It wasn't bad.
I don't mind manually uh, defending with him. I think off the ball, he actually feels pretty decent. I overcommitted him like crazy in that situation. He actually blocked the middle area well after the overcommitment. Like I said, guys, I always tell you, don't don't control the players when it comes to the, uh, the track back. I really want to try that interception there. It wasn't bad, to be fair. He actually almost got that. He goes for like a long lunge as well. Oh, almost, almost. He's out of position now. It's going to control this guy here. Yeah, I mean, his transition speed to come back, guys. It's not terrible, right? I don't mind it at all. You don't really want to overcommit this guy too much, obviously, because of the pace that he has. But it doesn't feel like a huge nuisance. Nice. I actually wanted to switch off of him there to see if he would intercept that himself. I'm going to commit this guy here. Good. He actually ended up blocking that. Very nice. Oh, I mistimed that one. It is a foul, because I can see it in the actual thing. There he is! He's back! Legrand switch with the weak foot. Oh! No foul? Oh, that was straight body, eh? Okay, okay. He just bullied him. Yeah, that was definitely a mistimed as well. I was so far off. I was like, I'm just going to try this, man. See if he does some crazy animation. No. No. Switch off. I need him to track back quicker than me. Don't use second man press. Oh, Simon Kier coming out of nowhere. My boy. Yeah, that's the situation I want. I want to commit players like crazy for them to make a pass. Now this is just L trigger. You let that go through, you care? No, not like this. A for effort, care. Weird animation again, but A for effort. Oh, dude, imagine he scored from there. That would have been actually crazy. Maybe if I greened it, it would have been fine, eh? Yeah, just an L trigger. Just an L trigger. You notice that, like, lack of acceleration that uh, he definitely doesn't have for sure. Listen, I don't know what happened, but uh, we have the ball, so we'll take it. That was funny, man. That's a nice little FIFA goal right there, eh, boys? Maybe the clearance, I should be aiming it for the corner kick, honestly. The direction I was aiming is not the greatest, but I want to see if he does, like, some crazy, like, head spin animation to clear it out, you know? But you do, uh, you should always, uh, clear it based off of how your body is kind of facing, right? So. Yeah, I just have to block that passing area there. Will take it. Very good. You can see that if you time your tackles correctly for him to do that aggressiveness, uh, while also just, you know, timing your jockey correctly, he's really not that bad at doing it. You can definitely tell he has a high and average body type, but I really thought it was going to be worse. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Simon Kier card. So, in regards to how he performs in game, guys, the Shadow Chemistry style is going to make the most sense because you do want to increase his pace as well as his defense as much as possible, considering the fact that his stats are set up the way that it is in certain areas, right? It's usually the case when it comes to center backs. Uh, so, a couple things, guys. Uh, when we do reviews for center backs, we overcommit them like crazy to test out certain things. Um, what I like about Kier's card is that his low high work rates compensates really well for his pace being as it is, right? I really hate using a center back in FIFA 
that has pace like this, but then they have like a high medium work rate, right? Which just doesn't make any sense because in regards to how they defend, it's a little bit annoying to work with the pace. Now, if it's a 95, 95, it's less annoying, but in his case, because it's a low high, he's not gonna be as aggressive at defending. I overcommit situations to test out the capabilities of a card, but it's just not something that I'm gonna do that often. Uh, his transition speed moving left and right, I thought was perfectly fine as long as you time uh, your tackles on that aggressive thing because it's really weird, right? So the aggression on these cards, guys, if you time your tackle button a certain way, I don't know if you guys ever notice it, but it actually animates your player quicker. Like they kind of go into the challenge a little bit harder. So it makes them faster. It's very weird to explain, but if you time it correctly, it actually happens uh, quite a bit, which he's pretty solid at doing whenever I did end up doing that. Because he's a pretty tall guy, uh, some of the standing tackles that I went to, uh, or I, I did, I should have obviously done sliding challenges, but I just need to test out to see if he has any like crazy animations uh, to clear the ball and whatnot, right? But just like the uh, situation where, you know, the player had the ball, it went into the back of the net. Goalie's pretty trash, obviously, right? But in that situation, I'm clearing it out, but I should be clearing it for a corner kick. You guys get what I'm saying? But I just want to see if he does like some, like some next level matrix thing, just, you know, with care, guys, what I will say is this, okay? So obviously, for the meta of the game, the pace is going to be low, no matter what, okay? In this game, guys, I'm telling you, I can use I can use Marquinhos as like rare gold card, right? Let's just let's just say I'm gonna use Marquinhos as rare gold card as an example, right? He has 81, 81 on a shadow chemistry style, you still feel that, okay? If if Kier had something like this, let me show you guys, right? So with Delit, his pace is not that high either, right? But he still has that extra acceleration, that extra sprint speed with a unique body type. That hunchback body type is crazy defensively, okay? So for me personally, you know, cards like Delit, Koulibaly, uh, even the Gozins card, Gozins is a very, very good defender. Uh, those cards are better than this Kier card, right? If we're going to be doing a comparison between the Serie A players. Uh, but let me see what else is here because there's a very huge variable right now because they're bringing out fodder like crazy and they're also bringing out token packs to put more fodder into it. So it's a little bit of a different variable to it, right? Um, let's see. So uh, center back here from the Serie A. Okay. The lit's better, Koulibaly's better, Skriniar never tried myself, Cordoba is apparently crazy in this game, never gave him a shot either. Um, and then that's pretty much it. So let's see the prices. So Koulibaly, 270k, so 100k off, and then Matthias Lit was an SBC at the time, and then the only other option you would have is Skriniar, but I never really tried him with Cordoba. So considering what the situation is now, it's not a bad SBC, right? How long is this SBC out for? It's out for two weeks. Two weeks is not too bad. I don't mind that too much. I don't mind that. I'm just letting you know that for the meta of the game, the pace part will be annoying from time to time. But when I overcommit him, his transition back is really not that bad. And going left and right with him is perfectly fine as well. Because the most important thing for a card like this, guys, is the fact that he has low high work rates with the pace. If, he was, if his work rates was like medium medium or something it'd be a little bit annoying i want to show you guys a player actually because this guy is insane okay uh upuma kano right this card right here has pace set up like this ah high and stocky body type maybe that's why maybe that's why because i tried this card one day and i'm like yo upuma kano is kind of crazy bro like this card's actually really really sick if he gets any sort of acceleration in the future it's gonna be nuts for him man absolutely nuts but uh yeah, high and average, it's usually not bad for center backs. It's, it's, it's the case with a lot of them, right? But obviously, I always prefer to have an average or a unique and stuff. But defensively, guys, he's still pretty solid, right? I, you do have to make different choices when it comes to defending in certain situations, right? But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Nothing crazy. It's not like a meta card to use in the game, but it uh, gives you some pretty solid links. What's the links with him? Like, uh, you got to have like Florenzi and stuff, right? Danish links, obviously. Oh, Mignon, yeah. Magnon's going to be, he might be high in price right now because of the AC Milan uh, French link with Varane and Kier now. Some people do that stuff, right? So, Dinatale's pretty good. Even though I never tried him, I heard he was amazing, though. Hernandez, that's a very solid link to work with, too. That is a meta link because this guy, 
why is he a meddling guy's unique body type right but yeah the links aren't too bad with him either so and not an spc i mind and obviously you know the fact that uh he did what he did in real life is very very cool as well so i don't mind him very cool uh, concept of, a, of an spc in my opinion but uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys